Hey all, welcome back. In our last video, we have seen uh, working with the multiple widgets using rows and columns. In this video, we will discuss about the input, uh, how we can uh, how we can work with the uh, text field. So, text field is the most important one. This is the most of the time every in every application, the text field also plays a very important role. Where you enter your data, where you enter your some text using your keyboard. So, we will see how how this we can uh, use in our uh, Flutter and we can see what properties are there for this text field in our uh, in uh, using this text field in our Flutter. So we'll uh, we'll start uh, creating the text field uh, by changing this line to a text widget, something called text widget. Inside this text widget, we have a few properties in that we will discuss on the uh, properties which we are going to use it. The first one is decoration. So this decoration holds. Uh, input decoration and again it holds a property called label text so the label text uh, will help you uh, in labeling the text instead of creating one more label on the text field it will help you to uh, it help you creating a text to identify what kind of label it is so here right now i want to create something called a username and if you see sorry it doesn't require delay it doesn't require any text here so instead of this you can directly write a uh, or you can see it on the left side you can see it right so this is text field which is having a label and next we'll write a style of the label style uh, inside text style just i want to change the color of the label if you see now the label text changes to a red color next you want to change the uh, view if we go there and uh, enter some text you can see right if we enter some text you can see the cursor is blinking with the blue color if you want to change the cur cursor color also you can do it by writing a property called cursor color so just cursor color here you can pass uh, some already it's a red so i am just want to pass some red color if you can see this uh, this previously it is a blue color now it is changed to a red color uh, that is uh, there inside the text field now uh, other important thing if you want to add a keyboard type if you want to change the type of a key okay we will see the keyboard there later we will see the type, keyboard type next we will first we will see the what are the other input uh, uh, controllers are there for the other input properties are there for the text field you will see now this is a normal text field if you want to change this text field to a more secure uh, secure you have something called obscure text you should write uh, should use a property called true now you can see right when you're entering the password this is what generally happens when you make it as when you make it as false it will become a normal text uh, field with a text is visible if you write it as a true so this will automatically becomes a uh, password password text field so right now i don't need this so the reason i'm just adding it so what next uh, I can do it is this text field property having a uh, one more property which is a keyboard type right now you can see it right when you tap on a text field you can see a default keyboard that appear on your uh, device so which is this is just a keyboard with the uh, alphabetical alphabetical keys uh, but what if you want to change the type of a keyboard example you want only a number keypad you don't need any alphabetical keyboard in this in this case you can you can use a property called keyboard type and here you can write input type input text input type dot number you can write number so when you write this and when you can write this and you can dismiss this and you can open it once again you can see there's a number keyboard appeared here so the thing is previously we do have a done button there and we tapped on the done button and the keyboard got dismissed so now we don't have any done button here so we right now we are done with entering the text here uh, so we are done with entering the text here see we are done with the text next we want to dismiss how you are going to dismiss here you don't have any done button here uh, the next step is creating a gesture on uh, that top uh, on tab gesture to dismiss the keyboard so we will see how we can create it uh, and uh, before that uh, before seeing that we will give some padding to this uh, uh, text field you can see this uh, now the text field you can see right mm -hmm. It was almost uh, sharing its boundaries with the edges. Uh, it's almost the uh, it has started from there are no like the padding is not good. Uh, the you can see the text uh, username was almost at the zeroth position and it was occupied to the entire screen. Now I want this to be uh, with, with some padding. So how I can go <coughs> go it? 
do it is here I can create one padding so we can see we have seen how we can provide a padding in our previous video but here we will see uh, we will use the same padding here but instead of writing something the flutter will give you a uh, option to automatically create a padding using the shortcut keys so here uh, how you're going to create is select the keypad and go to this left yellow color balloon and tap on this here you can see automatic uh, wrapping uh, widgets center column container padding this will when you select this this will automatically create the widgets on your uh, on your on your uh, components this is one of the best feature that flutter is having so right now i want padding so i go to this wrap with padding and i uh, click on this wrap with padding so now you can see previously it has almost is it just shared with this boundaries now you can see there is eight pixel gap here so to make it more visualized i just change this 8 to 32 now you see now this text field having some padding uh, having some padding from 32 from all the sites this is how you can do it at padding so this is the easiest one again in the padding if you want to add one more widget over here you can do it you can select whatever you want based on your requirement you can do it so now we are done with this and again if you go here and you select here and you see again you have and you got the uh, this one uh, number keypad now you now our next task is we want to dismiss the keyboard how we are going to dismiss the keyboard is just adding one gesture on tap gesture to dismiss the keyboard so for creating an on tap gesture what we need to do is go to our scaffold in this scaffold we are creating one more widget so instead of writing this we can simply use this shortcut and create wrap with widget in this wrap with widget just write gesture detector so in this gesture detector you can write on tap function so we have seen in our gestures tutorial how uh, how we can write a uh, gestures uh, so in this on tap what will happen so inside this you have to write uh, one line uh, which help you to dismiss the keyboard with that is called focus scope dot of context dot request focus which is new focus node so this line will help you to dismiss the keyboard so what happens is when you tap on the keyboard uh, so when you sorry when you tap on the text field it will open the keyboard when you tap on the screen back side it will automatically dismiss the keyboard so we'll see it see when you tap on a text uh, text field it is uh, it has showed the keyboard five five six i have I'm done with this now we want to dismiss the keyboard so only thing is just click the back side screen of your click on the screen this automatically dismisses your keyboard so this is a very simple thing and this is the most easiest one and the most simple one so this is how we can do it uh, working with the text field